Shit all I'm a show when it stops all about giving all praise to Allah Shemi Al Shai. Double nice post of GMS and honest two brothers that don't know work in truth. Wow sincerity. Uh just uh one one geezer made the statement that Postal Tiles are referencing him. Basically Giza was like, What does it say in the scriptures that you know the prophets of the Lord uh, would you call it shall be put into prison? So I'll try to go through this uh quickly. Because right, I mean that's an absurd statement. You know, and uh, there's several accounts in the scriptures where people have been put in prison, right? This is Genesis 39 and 20 says, And Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison. So this is one, Joseph was, was cast into prison, right? It says a place where the king's prisoners were bound and he was there in the prison. So, you know, Joseph was cast into prison, right? Uh, you know, Jeremiah, you've got Daniel. Right, you know, you got, you know, you got Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and then the lion's den. Right, it's Jeremiah thirty nine and fifteen it says, "Now when the Lord, when the word of the of Yahweh came unto Jeremiah, while Jeremiah while he was shut up in the court of the prison, and Jeremiah was put in prison." Well, you got to always understand that what we're teaching is a problem to the people. Uh, that you know, uh, it's like what we teach is a problem. To, you know when when we teach you because like when you read Jeremiah 28 and 8 it says the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence and of course if we're going up to the kings of the kingdom and saying hey, you know your, your kingdom's going down then they're going to want you want to do us harm they're going to want to put us in prison they wanna, they're going to want to do more than that they're going to want to shut us up in any way possible Right, because this guy's talking about what does it say? The, the, the would you call it the, uh, you know, the, the, the prophet of the Lord be put in prison? And that for one, that says he wasn't learned. He didn't, you know, because you you can think of several scriptures, but then you, you you contrast it further. Right, prophets were killed for this truth, man. Yahweh Shah was killed, and all he did was just teach and teach teach the scriptures, man. Teach the law. But they didn't, they, they hated them for that. Right? Uh, let me get this real quick as well. Uh, just right? This is Hebrews 11 and. Uh, and uh, where am I going to start from? Yeah, I'm going to read from 37. Right? Uh, in fact, from 30 and 36. Right? It says, um, and others. Had trial of cruel mockers and scourgings, yea, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. Right? It says they were stoned. Right? Stoned to death. They were sawn asunder when you read, um, I would you call it extra biblical sources. It basically says that Isaiah was sawn in the middle of a tree trunk, man. That's a, that's a nasty way to go, but this guy's talking about just being put in prison. It says, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins. And goat skins, you know, John the Baptist, being destitute, afflicted, and tormented. Being destitute. Let's, let's look up this word here. Right? And if want to come behind, be destitute, be, you know, want to be in worse behind, come lately. Um, yeah, that's why I was all saying these doesn't really make sense. But to be wanting, right? To be in want, you see what? Uh, yeah, it's uh, extremely poor and lacking the means to provide for oneself. Right, so what did these guys call us, man? They be like, oh, you bums, you this, you that. No, but it says, you know, they were destitute, afflicted, and tormented. Right? But, it, it, you know, like I said, that just shows someone who doesn't, uh, what do you call it, who doesn't understand the scriptures. Right, the, the prophets went through these things. Right, this is Matthew ten eighteen it says, and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. Right, so it's Yahweh shall prophesied it. It says, when there will come a time when we will be brought before king, governors and kings, right, for a testimony against them. Right, because what we're saying is is a problem to the society, and, and they will they want us to answer for it at some point. Right, it says, but when they deliver you up, take no thought 
how no thought how or what you shall speak for it shall be given you in that same hour what you shall speak so when you know when these things happen I'm not saying it's going to happen to all brothers right it says when these things happen right the Lord is going to be the one that's going to put the words in our mouth to do X, Y, and, you know, to say what we need to say. Or maybe not even say anything. But, but you know, this is a prophecy saying this will happen. You will be brought, and you, you, when you, where do you think they're going, to, they're going to keep you? They're going to keep you in the prison, and then they're going to bring you to trial almost. Well, not almost, but basically being brought to trial. Well, it's the Second Corinthians. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Eleven and twenty. Well, I'm not going to start. Just jump to the point. It says, "Are they ministers of 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 Yahweh Shai? I speak as a fool. I am more. It says, and labors more abundant, and stripes above measure, and prisons more frequent, and deaths oft. Right. So, in prisons more frequent. They, you know, you will get put in prison, man." That's just that's just the uh, the uh, what was the word I'm looking for? That's just part and parcel of the job. If it happens, it happens. You know, brak fear by shem shai. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Brak fear by shem shai. In all things, give thanks. Right, this is Acts sixteen twenty three says, and when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. Right. Once again, the apostles being, you know, being well beaten and then put into prison. Same again in Acts 12 and 5 says, Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto the Most High for him. Right. So basically, Peter was put in prison as well. Mark 6 and 17, it says, For Herod himself had sent forth and laid hold upon John. And bound him in prison for Herodias' sake, his brother Philip's wife, for he had married her. Right, and we all know the fate that befell John the Baptist. John the Baptist was put to death for this truth, man. This is Revelations 2 10. says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, once again written and read. You know, so behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. This is a prophecy. So really and truly, these two scriptures that Yahweh Shah brought out was all I needed to go into. You know, looking at it because Yahweh Shah prophesied and scripture said, um, how would you call it? The Lord is not a man that he should lie. Right, because whatever, you know, scriptures say Yahweh and, and Yahweh Shah are one in mind, not, in, not, not as an entity, but they have, they're of one accord in agreement with each other. Meaning that if if Yahweh if Yahweh is not a man that he should lie, Yahweh Shah isn't gonna lie. Right? It says, "Behold, the days shall behold the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life." Right? Which is what we're aiming for, which is what we're hoping for. Right? And you know, just to, to, to finish it off, this is Revelation 20 and 4 says, And I saw the thrones, I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. Right, so, you know, where are you going to get beheaded? You know, just what makeshift, uh, would you call it beheadings, beheading camps somewhere? No, you know, do you go and, you know, Carted off to some concentration camp, some which is a prison, and, and they're gonna do what they're gonna do, man. They got the guillotines. FEMA have, has the guillotines ready, man. So, like I said, I just wanted to get into that real quick. I've been meaning to do it for a, for a minute now, um, but yeah, it's, it's just you know, scriptures talk about you know you do earn not knowing the scriptures, man. You know, warn to you that I've lost um, patience. Well, what have you, oh, it's not really relevant in this one, but certainly, um, you know, he didn't have the faith. He didn't have the faith, man. He got shook up. But, hey, the Dharma Session of one.